Marital status and personal life of a former Houston County District Attorney could be an issue in his upcoming trial. He's accused of offering favors in the courtroom in exchange for sexual favors with multiple women he prosecuted against. WDHN's Aaron Dixon has the story. Mark Johnson is charged in the case. The state says that it is vital for the jury in Johnson's case to hear about his marital status at the time of the alleged crimes because they want to show why Johnson committed the crimes the way that he did while also saying that if they don't include the status, that it would grossly misinform the jury. Johnson is accused of offering favors in the courtroom in exchange for sexual favors with multiple women he prosecuted against. His attorneys say that his marital status at the time of the crimes is irrelevant and that the state is trying to overdramatize testimony to bolster their case. Johnson came under the limelight nearly two years ago when a former defendant he was prosecuting on drug charges, Jamie Connolly, wrote a letter to a judge alleging that Johnson friended her on Facebook and the two began having a steamy online relationship. The letter sparked an investigation resulting in Johnson losing his job and six ethics violation charges. Prosecutors in the case say Connolly is not one of the multiple witnesses. However, her messages with Johnson and previous conversations between the two will be used. Other issues raised during the hearing involve two attorneys trying to evade testifying in Johnson's case. One of them represented Connolly at the time of the alleged relationship and the other represented another witness in the case. Both men believe that if they testify, it would violate attorney-client privilege. The state says they don't want to hear privileged information, but want to hear about what was said between Johnson and the attorneys at the time of the alleged relationship. Johnson's trial was scheduled to take place in July, but due to courtroom availability at the Houston County Courthouse, it will now start the week of August 19th. In Dothan, Aaron Dixon, WDHN News for The Wiregrass.